Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today we're going to be putting together this shabby artist folio. This is from a printable kit in my Etsy shop, My Porch Prints on Etsy. And um, so to start with, I've printed out all the pieces. Some of them print two-sided using the papers provided, and for some reason my printer is printing everything brown green. So I'm sorry about that. This should be a little more of a taupe color. But um, so anyway, like I said, some of these print two-sided, some don't, it's kind of up to you. This is going to become a little notebook cover for the folio and I only printed it one-sided, but if you wanted a pattern in here, you could certainly do that. So to start with, I'm gonna show you the folds. They're pretty simple. Um, you basically just fold on all the lines and um, these lines I left a little bit thick so that um, if your folio kind of fills up with things, you can still fold it shut. So I've already kind of scored things so it should be pretty easy to fold. We're gonna start with this little pocket here and these two little tabs just fold in and then that's how you attach this little pocket. So I'm gonna do that. There you go. And then this side folds and then this folds over the top just like that. And then on this side, we're going to put this little slanted pocket and same thing, just fold the tabs and then we'll attach it right over here. There we go. And the folio is already pretty much put together. And then these come with it. These are, um, color palettes for like showing off your watercolors and I went ahead and put some patterns on some of them already and you can kind of choose what you like best and then this one's blank so that if you want to do a watercolor painting and, and make your own little palette you can paint on those and they go in here and then you can write on the top you know what, what, what your project is or what your color palette is if you want to and then it also comes with oh well before I start with that let's talk about this so it comes with this um notebook cover and it doesn't come with any paper to fill it but you can use your own and what I did was I just cut some white um, watercolor paper and I stapled it together and that can go inside here and then that can become a little a little notebook for you to paint in if you want to and um, this staple is not my favorite thing so I've got some spare paper from the pack and this is a one inch punch and I'm just gonna go ahead and punch a little piece of the paper here and use that to kind of cover up my staple. Just like that. Like I said, if you want to print on the inside of this card and make it pretty, you can do that. Or you can ink your edges, whatever works best for you. And then we're about finished here. Also, if you want, you can print on the back of the cards too to cover up the white part. Um, to finish up, the kit also comes with these circles and I went ahead and punched them out already and you can just cut them out if you don't have a punch but a one inch punch works really well for this and um, I've got these little brads they're actually some Tim Holtz brads fasteners but you can get any kind you want um, you can get like office ones that are just you know like those brass ones brass fasteners and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch a hole kind of in the center of this if I can get close. And this is a small punch, it's a 1 16th punch. Maybe I'll just line these up, that'd be a good idea. And then I'll do the same thing on here. I'll just kind of line this up with where I want it to go.
And you can ink your edges of these if you want to, to make them stand out a little bit more. kind of a uh, line kind of like buttons on a shirt so I'll do that and I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one so I don't think my punch is gonna reach that far which is a shame I always feel like punches need to have longer things on them so that you can actually reach when you want to punch something um, it probably would have been a good idea to do this part before adding this. <laughs> Just a little tip for you. I'm learning too. Sorry, I think I had that in my notes, but of course I don't read my notes. I just start crafting and then I get into trouble. And this isn't all from a book binding kit. I'll try to put links to some of the tools I'm using down below. So yeah, definitely would have been easier before attaching the pocket. Just note to self. Okay. And then what you'll want is a little piece of twine or string or some sort of thing like that. And that'll help you with closing your book. So let's go ahead and put this notebook back inside here. There we go. Okay, and then what you can do is just uh, sneak underneath here with your string. And you can go back and forth or around and around, whatever works best for you. So now you've got a little artist folio and it's got a cute little closure here and then you, to open it you just unwind your string and you've got your little paint palettes and then you've got your little notebook for painting in. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.